Hello, 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 my wonderful brothers and sisters. My name is Tracy, coming to share another word with you guys. I pray that everyone is doing well. Happy Wednesday to you all. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, no matter what is going on in our life, God is worthy, okay, to be praised. He's going to come through for you. All right. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much to all of those that tune in. Okay. That support your girl. Hey, um, that pray for me and encourage me. You send me just thank you. Okay. For all of the seeds that you have sown. If you would like to send me a gift or, um, you feel led to sow the information is always in the description. Okay. Well, I think I forgot a couple times, but it's in there. You guys know, um, for those that travel like the Lord have us to, you know that it's not always an easy thing to say, I need help for tonight. I need this, I need, you know, but it is a, um, it is a blessing to give. It really is. And I'm not just saying it to um, get you guys to give. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. I was going to share uh, scripture, but we'll save that for another time. But thank you guys so much. And thank you in advance. Okay. Yes. I'm. Thank you in advance. Okay. May God bless you a thousandfold. You know what? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for your love and your kindness, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day. You have been so good to us. You are so good to us. We don't mean to take anything for granted. Forgive us, oh God. If we've taken anything for granted, forgive us, Lord Jesus, of all the things that we have done, whether we know about them or whether we did them on purpose or not. Forgive us for every sin, Father God. We come before you with humbleness, O oh God, of heart, that you would help us, Father, and that you would forgive us. Bless my sisters and brothers, Father God, with whatever it is that they need. In the name of Jesus have your way. God, have your way. I acquiesce, oh God. I get out of the way. Holy Spirit, come in and do what you want to do. Say what you want to say in the name of Jesus. Word my mouth, oh God, that I would decrease, that I would decrease and you increase in the name of Jesus. We serve notice on every foul demon and every spirit that's not like God. I come against you with the blood of Jesus. You have no place here. I command you to take your leave. In Jesus' name, every witch and every warlock, I rebuke you and send you back to the pits of hell where you belong. In Jesus' name, Daddy, come in and say what you want to say and do what you want to say. Do what you want to do. Open up our spiritual ears that we can receive what you have. Open our heart that we can receive what you have for us today. In Jesus' mighty, holy, and righteous name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, God is so good. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to uh, the Lord for another day. All right, let's get into the word. I have my notes here. Uh, for some reason, my lighting is not enough over my, my book, I mean, my Bible and my notes so I can see them better. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to make it do what it do. Oh, I feel like I've been gone a long time. I've been here. You know, you know what I know I was going to say. So I, I gave the word. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get into the word. I uh, shared the word that the Lord gave me called the waiting room. I, I believe I made it clear, but just in case I didn't. When, when um, I was talking about the waiting room, remember it was only a moment. I am not saying that we should sit idle and do nothing and wait and wait. That's not what the waiting room is. We're just almost there, okay? And so if you have not seen it, go back and check it out, okay? It is called the waiting room. Yeah, I'm not saying sit idle. No, look, I'm doing what God has called me to do. I'm not sitting here waiting. Dee -doo -dee -doo -dee. Not that kind of waiting at all. I'm doing what God has called me to do. So for clarity's sake, just in case somebody did not catch it, that's not it. And remember, it was a moment I had. And I know God allowed me to have the moment in order to share that word. Amen. Amen. And so listen, this morning as I was sitting with the Lord, I heard the Lord ask me a question. Ooh, I heard the Lord ask me a question. Would you be willing to give up your marriage? Would you be willing to give up your marriage promise if I asked you? And in the middle of praying, so I'm like, y'all, I got to be honest. You know I'm going to be honest and transparent. Like, I didn't even want to share this message. I'm, not, not all messages are easy and fun for me to share. I'm just going to put it out there. At the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about God. 
Y'all, I paused. I didn't even know I was going. I paused. I was like, Tracy, you paused. I should have had a quick answer, but I paused. Let's just be honest. There was a pause within me. What you talking about, Willis? No, not not that, not that. Um, and so, and and I wasn't expecting it. Okay, um, y'all know. Again, I, I, I'm as honest and transparent as I could be sharing here. Okay, only what God allows me to, because I can't tell you all my business. But um, when God says it's time, I have to share. And so um, there was um, a time in my life where that abs that answer would have been quick and absolute. Yep, take it. I don't want it. Okay, but see, but that was coming from a different place. At that point, I was hope deferred. I, I, I was just in a different place. Like, I didn't even want the marriage anymore. And it wasn't because, like, oh, Lord, I'm giving it up to you. No, I didn't want it. I'm like, take it back. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. You know, that kind of attitude. So that doesn't count. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't count. God had to get me in check real quick. Okay, let's step back in alignment because this is not about you. It's about my kingdom. Amen. And I, I said with my own mouth, for God I live and for God I die. Ooh, we say some stuff, right? When we end the spirit is God not gonna come for them words okay didn't you say you were willing to give up all check and check okay sometime I got to get checked too I'm like ooh, sorry daddy yes I did say okay that will be done not my will but yours and so that time was different where I was just done with the whole thing that's a different that's that that don't count okay that's not the right attitude when you are surrendering something to the Lord that ain't it that's that's not what the Lord is talking about okay and so at that time, I wasn't hesitant, you know, and again, I was not in the right place. OK, that was a whole different point was past tense. OK. And so but I've learned my, my thought process have shifted. I've grown since then. That was a, a good while ago. I've grown since then. Um, put some things in different perspective. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so, and, and you know how we do when we feel it's taking too long. You know what? Take it back. I don't want it. It's taking too long. Like, you know, no, that's it. Thought process is totally different. But anyways, but listen, so now that God has confirmed to me and many others, all right, that our time is now, now, right? Soon, soon, like close, close. I'm like, yes, excited. And then to get asked the question, I'm like, Oh, 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 okay. Uh, oh, I was like, wow, okay, okay. Um, you know, but daddy, I thought you said like I was getting married like soon, soon, and now, now, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm in position, I'm in, I'm in alignment, you know. I thought you were saying like my any day, you know, all of these thoughts are rushing very quickly through my mind as I'm sitting and and, and talking to the Lord, and um, them thoughts was like, shoo, 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 you know, I had some questions real quick that was like going on real fast, pew, like that. And and one, I thought about this, and I'm going to be honest, okay, I'm just being completely honest. I don't even want to share it, but here we go, okay. One of the things that I thought about, and I thought I was over this, and I am in many areas, one of the things that I thought about is what are people going to say if if I not getting married now anymore, what are people going to say with all the messages, Father, that you gave me? That's the first thought I had. First of all, I need to be completely delivered of what y'all think. I love you. What people think. Amen. That's just the honest to God's truth. Now, some areas it's quick. It's fast. Don't care what you think. Don't care what you say. Gone, gone, gone. All right. Now, old nature, that was me. I, I did care a lot. Um, a long time ago, what people thought. That's why I got involved in so many things. I cared way too much what people um, thought. Now, you know, and so I, some things I did because that's the group I was in. Not because I necessarily wanted to do them. I just did them. I cared a lot. But now, not so much. There's still a little work to be done. Okay, listen, don't judge me. All y'all got some work to do. You know you do. Okay, you got something. It may not be this thing, but it's something. Okay, it's something you're working on. It's something that you are working on. And so um, and so I was reluctant to share this word. I'm like, you know, Father, Holy Spirit, help help me. Okay, let's let's see what's going on here. So anyways, the Lord dropped in my spirit after I went through all of these shenanigans and things of that nature. And again, it was not a long time. I'm, I'm spreading the word out. But you guys know some thoughts come quick. 
the ants come quick and there's just like that. That's really how it was. And the Lord dropped into my, my spirit, Genesis chapter 22. I'm like, okay. I had been seeing the number 22 and I didn't know for days, okay, if not more than a week, you know, um, something like that for, for a minute. And I knew it was not the 22 in Strong's Concordance. It just didn't go with, with what you guys know how it is. Like, this is not what you're saying this time. This is this is not it. Lord, what are you saying to me? I went to the page number chap um page number 22. It wasn't it. And so I just had to wait. I says, "Okay, Lord, I'm I'm giving this to you when you want me to know what you're saying through this number for this time. Um you're going to give it to me." So I put it aside. And sure enough, as soon as I went on and just kind of didn't have it way up there, the Lord gave me this message this morning for the number 22, which is Genesis chapter 22. Um, amen. And so, um, and, and most of us are pretty familiar with um, the story of Abraham and Isaac, where he had his promised son, and God asked him to go and sacrifice it, right? God wants to know, are you willing to do it? Are, are you willing to do it? I hope I don't miss any notes, because it feels like I missed something. So hopefully I did it. Um, sometimes I, um, you know, m move a little too fast for for, for the for my notes anyways um and so god wants to know are you willing okay when god asked me i heard some breaks like Skirt! i said what now what say daddy uh, uh, you want what back <laughs> you know that's what i'm thinking like okay say what now you know like that like seriously i just hit the brakes in my spirit wasn't expecting it but see i really thought i was good and together y'all i'm gonna be honest I, I i paused and 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 god did that he'll do a heart check and i paused and i didn't know i would pause let me tell you something i really thought that i was good if god asked me for it back you can have it father yes thy will be done hallelujah and praise the lord until god asked me in the moment like caught me off guard i'm like and and i'm closer now than i was before you know how it is like when you have your hand on the doorknob and you're about to open the door to you know something good is behind it and you go and you reach for the door and God says, wait, are you willing to give that up in this moment? And you're like, but my hand is right there. But my hand is on the door, but I'm about to open it. You, do you want me to, you want, you want it, you, but are you willing? I'm, I, God is like, I'm asking a question. Are you willing? I'm like, mm. I, I, my hand is on the doorknob. All I got to do is turn it and push it open. God wants to know, are you willing? Like in that moment, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine how Abraham felt? Well, we don't know. But see, in the Bible, it shows him just moving. Okay, like, can, can I have faith like Abraham? Oh, but he had to go through. Okay, so let me back up and just not say it like that. Okay, praise the Lord. I, I just want to have faith like I'm supposed to have it. And that's it. I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah. Okay, and so, like, in that moment, and so now, like, because I know that God is, I can sense it in my spirit, right? That, like, Ooh, that any day now that door is just gonna matter of fact the other day I wrote it on a napkin at whatever time it was I didn't have my um, notebook in the bed usually it's right on the other side of the bed or some paper right on the nightstand and so I wrote it on this napkin and I seen when I opened my eyes um, I seen a door open with the light on and inside the walls were a light blue, beautiful. And that's what I seen. It was just a quick vision. I'm like, the door was open. I knew it was open. I'm like, you know, I didn't get full revelation. I'm just sharing right now. But what we, we still have that with the Lord is to see if it, it's anything else that he wants to reveal there. And so, but so, so now that I know that I'm right here, I didn't know, I did not know that I would have pause if God, he just asked the question, would you? He didn't say I had to. He just, would you be willing to give me your marriage promise? Like now? Like right now? Like when I'm about to open the door? Yeah, would you? Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I felt like a little kid. Okay. Okay. And so, and so anyways, God will do a heart check. Okay. Um, our hearts, uh, God knows better than us, right? He knows 
um, the very intents of our heart. He knows better than we do. And sometimes I can say it, Lord, for hallelujah, okay? Um, what is that song? For you I live. I live to worship you. I don't know, something like that. Right, that's it. I live. Whatever you want, God is yours. I am your willing vessel. I pray this on a daily basis because I am. And in that moment, I'm saying, God, whatever you want, whatever I have, it's yours. I surrender. When we throw our hands up, that is in complete surrender to the will of God. Whatever he says, you're saying yes to it. Yes, I surrender it all. I surrender all. Okay, we sing it and all that good stuff, and then then time to check. We'll be like, oh, you meant that too? <laughs> I thought you meant X, Y, and Z, not the other four. <laughs> okay, and so yeah. Let me let me just grab, grab, grab some scripture, and I just want to read gab some scripture. Gab, gab it, gab it. Um, I want to read some scripture for us right quick, which I was like, oh, wow, this is just, this is amazing. So amazing. So in Psalm 139, it says, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I arise. You perceive my thoughts afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. Okay, you, God, you know everything about me. So that means he knows the very intent of our heart. We mean well. Like when I said out of my mouth, like, Lord, I give it to you. When it came down, that was a heart check. Like, let's see. Amen. Amen. I hope you guys are getting this. Okay, I'm trying to deliver it the way that I got it this morning. I pray that you are um, that you are getting it. Um, 1 Corinthians 4 and 5, it says that the Lord checks our heart. I'm going to go to it. I hadn't planned on it, but let's just pull it up right quick. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 1 Corinthians 4 and 5, I believe. Let's see what it says. It says in there that God will manifest the motives of our heart. And then everyone, well, anyways, the bottom line, you guys, is that God knows the very intent of our heart. He's always checking it, right? Amen. He knows. David said, you know everything about me. You, you know everything there is to know. Even when they were trying to choose another apostle, like, God, you know the heart of every man. You know what's best. And so God knows that. Also, I was thinking, you know, I've gone through so much, right? Waiting on my marital promise, on my, on my promise. I've waited so much, okay? You know, and I'm like, okay, Tracy, and uh, yeah. But I said that I don't want anything more than I want God. And so for me, you guys, for me, I felt like after I'd given it a little thought, I'm like, why didn't it come out of my mouth quicker? Why couldn't I just say in that moment when God asked me, yes, you know, because I'm like, I'm right here. I went through a lot of X, Y, Z, and I'm going through all of this, right? Very quickly, you guys, this, this is not like a long thought out. I'm, I'm explaining it that way, but this was all quick, quick. And so, but, but I told God, there's nothing I want more than you. And, and I meant it. I thought I meant it. I, I, I want to say that I meant that, you know, until that moment where I had pause, where I heard brakes screeching all in my head, you know, and then all in here. So what now? Yeah. So anyways, um, uh, apparently there was a pause. Apparently there was a pause, like right at the door, hand on the doorknob type situation. Um, it's okay though. Listen, you guys, this is not a message to make us feel bad. I wasn't feeling like sad and bad. I wasn't feeling condemned. I didn't feel any condemnation. God asked me a question, right? In that moment, see where I am. Where are you really? If I asked you, Tracy, would you give it back to me? Would you give it to me? And immediately my answer should have been, yes, Lord, you can have it. But there's there was some pause and I'm just being honest okay and that's not fun to share I just want you to know that that's not fun that's that that don't feel really good um but we don't have to feel 
um, condemned. God is, this is not about condemnation. God doesn't do that. That's the enemy. It does bring some conviction. It does make you think, you know, it, it like, right. Okay. Remember for Abraham, it was only a test. This is only a test. I just want to know. Yes. God knows everything, but he'll still ask you so that you can see where you are in, in yourself. Okay. Amen. Let's read Genesis chapter 22. Let's read Genesis chapter 20, 22. I was trying to decide if I was going to get my Bible, my Bible book. Let's read Genesis chapter 22. And those, those. Genesis chapter 22. And I think I'm going to read the New King James just to make it a little easy on myself. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it a little easier to read. And we're going to start at verse, let's start at verse number one. And let's just read, okay? It says, Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham. King James says, tempted Abraham. And he said to him, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I will tell you. So Abraham rose. Now right there. Right there. They didn't say Abraham had a discussion with the Lord like I did this morning. Okay. It doesn't say that. It just says so Abraham rose early in the morning saddled his donkey and took his two young men with him and Isaac his son and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place which of which God had told him. Then on the third day, there's our third day again, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship and I will come back again. Already we see faith. Already we see faith. Abraham like, I'm already knowing God got something else. He got another plan. He has another plan. Okay. So Abraham, verse 6, so Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac, his son, and he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, now, daddy, I don't see no burnt, I don't, I don't see no donkey, I'm sorry, I don't see no sacrifice, okay, I don't see no lamb, ram, I don't, I don't see anything, where is the sacrifice, where is it? That, that's what the son want to know. Okay? But Isaac spoke to, his, spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire, the wood, but where is the lamb? There we go. Where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Then they came to the place of which God told him. And Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order. And he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar. Now we're getting close. Like, look how close he is. Look how far he went to this thing that God told him. Ooh, the faith. The, you got to have faith eyes. You got to be able to see in the spirit. You got to be able to trust and have faith in God, your God, the God that we serve. Knowing that he's going to come through. You got another plan. If you're asking me for something that you promised, you got another plan. Something, something. We don't, we don't know. Okay. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him, to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, here I am. And he said, do not lay your hands on the lad and do, and do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God since you have not withheld your only son from me. Amen. God is so good. Then Abraham lifted, his, lifted up his eyes and looked. And there behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the place, <clears throat> called the name of the place, the Lord will provide. And I mean, as it is said to this day. In the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven 
and as the sand which is of the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed shall all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Amen and amen, okay? And so Abraham returned to his young men, and they arose and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. Okay, you guys, listen, blessed my socks off, right? Completely blessed me. It was the fact that Abraham was willing to do it. Up until he drew the knife back, I mean, he was all in, willing. God's like, are you willing? That's all he's asking. Remember, it was only a test. Are you willing? Now, I want to say this, you guys. Um, wow. <clears throat> um, I want to say this, and I'm saying it, I promise, in all humility. Even though this message is long, it didn't take me long. It didn't take me long to gather my thoughts and say, God, you can have it. It did not take me a long time. I'm stretching it out for the sake of the word so that you can get a clear picture but it did not take me long to say if you want the merit you can have it because at the end of the day y'all I promise with uh, I'm gonna cry I didn't mean to get on here crying okay I not at all at the end of the day nothing is more important to me than God I, and I need him what good is a marriage if I don't have him what what good is me choosing marriage over God it's not because I need him to be where I am. Okay? And if I choose marriage over him, is he there? I need him to be there. I need to be wherever God is. Not, not just in a physical location, but in alignment. I need to be. I need to be where God is. So I promise in all humility, it did not take long. Okay? Because best believe he has a plan. He, if he's asking me, he got a plan. He had a plan for Abraham. He, it was already in the works, right? Abraham, and I heard this in a message, but I'm sharing this was years ago, okay? I'm surprised I still remember. But Abraham going up this mountain like this, can you imagine? And the ram is already coming up. It was already prepared. The plan was already in motion. But it was the fact that Abraham was willing and obedient. God said, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Amen. And so um, I, I'm grateful. Let me tell you something. My prayer every morning, you guys, I promise you, many of you know, okay, listen, I'm not the only one. There is a body of Christ who, who is sold out for God. Amen. For God, we live. For God, we die. Like, you know, some things are scary, but hey, I need them. I need, what good is my life without them? What good is my life without God? I tried that before. I was a, I, I was miserable and a mess and suicidal and depressed. All right? I, I didn't I had I had no peace. I had no hope. But when God steps in, you have all of that. So what good is my marriage without him? I'm in, yes, you can have it back. Thank you, Jesus. Abraham was willing. Okay, and my prayer in the morning, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Okay, I, I need to be able to answer that quickly. Yes, you can have it. I'm human, God understands that. Again, this is not for judgment. This is not for condemnation. This is just for, for us to see. God likes to show us things. We need to know. A little heart check. Sometimes we still got a little, 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 little something stuck in there. You know, that he wants to work on, that he wants us to see. He loves us so much. He's so merciful. <clears throat> He's so good and so merciful. Paul said in Philippians 3 and 8, this is the Berean. He says, more than that. That right there just preaches. It just preaches to me a lot. More than that. More than my marriage. Okay? More than that. More than my house. More than my car. More than my job. More than my children. I love them. But God comes first. I love, how, how can I be a good mother without him? How can I be uh, a good person without him? I need him. Amen. So Paul says, more than that, I count all things lost compared to the surpassing excellence of knowing Christ. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have lost 
all things. I consider them rubbish. I like that. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. It is all about him. I want to mean, when I say that out of my mouth, I want to mean it from the, in my heart all the way, 100%. I thought I was good. I ain't gonna lie. Yes. Now, if you had to ask me, nothing is more important than him. If you had to ask me maybe a little bit ago, I would have said, sure, give it up for the Lord. But because I got my hand on the door knob, I paused. <laughs> I paused a little bit. I paused a little bit. I did. Yes, I did. I paused. I paused. But that's okay. I'm together now. Amen. I'm together now. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yes, Lord. And, and then I would just, it doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what they think. When we're living for God, they're going to say stuff anyway. People going to say stuff anyway. They're going to talk anyway. And if they in the world, what difference does that make to you? Where it gets you at is sometimes with your brothers and sisters in Christ. You'd be like, but you're my brother. But you're my sister. It's okay. God, God will deal with whoever he needs to deal with. All right? Our job is to pray for each other. If you think I'm messed up or if you think I missed it, can you pray for me, please? God knows I don't, I don't have no intention of missing the mark or messing up. But can you pray for me? Can you not talk about me and pray for me? That goes for me, too. Can I pray for you? Can I not talk about you and pray for you? Amen. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. I do. I love my family, my natural family, too. I don't want y'all to be jealous. I'm not. I love my nat my biological family. Listen, I love who God gave me. Now, I can't be around all of them. He separated me from some of them, but I still love them. Okay? Amen. He will He will take natural family away from you, okay? Because they don't. some of them don't mean you no good. Some want to do you bodily harm. Some want to put curses on you, do witchcraft. We come against that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ by the blood of the Lamb. Okay? But let's pray for each other. And, and so um, Abraham, it was a test, only a test, only a test. Abraham did well. He did good. He did good, good. Okay. He did. He did really good. And so I do want the Lord to create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. And when the Lord asked me, Tracy, are you willing to give up X, Y, Z? I want to say, yes, Lord, it belongs to you. I give it up and I surrender it to you, whatever it may be. I want to, I want to do that like that. I don't want it to be a pause. I don't want to hear breaks screeching. I just like, ah! what, what, say what now? I don't want to do none of that stuff. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't. Amen. God is good. Like I said, I don't feel that. I mean, the message was hard because I'm thinking about what people going to think, but not because, um, you know, God is, I, I feel like I'm being condemned or chastised. I don't feel any of that. I feel a loving father. Hallelujah. I felt his spirit and his presence all over me. I feel it all over my hands. Okay. The anointing and the presence of God. He's so good like that. He just asked me a question. That's okay. We ask him questions all the time. He can't ask us none. I think he can. I think he can. But my answer is yes. And I, and I hope all of ours too will be yes. Now, of course, we know God has a plan. He had a plan for Abraham. So I know God got something else. Okay? I know it. I trust that. Thank you. Thank you. Don't got my hand, don't got my hand on the doorknob and, and fitting about to open it. You know? But anyways, God is so good. Abraham believed in God. And so should we. All the way. You guys, 100% all the way. Amen. I pray that this message blessed you. I pray that you got something out of it. Um, once again, <clears throat> um, if you feel led to sow, um, please do so. And, and let God lead you, okay? No gift is too small. One thing I do desire at the top of my list, that very apex up there, is for you to pray for me. That, that is my sincere desire. I need you to pray for me all the time, every day, all day, every day, okay? Let me be included in your prayers, all right? I love y'all so much. Thank you so much that you're here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. So listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, that's okay. Because the most important thing is that you're back now, all right? Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And Jesus loves you so much more. Until next time, the question is, will you? That's the question, okay? And the answer is yes. I love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.